I survived the Battle of D-Day. Hey, actually, here's a fun fact. D-Day, what does the D stand for? Turns out most people don't know. But according to lots of sources, it's Day. So technically, D-Day is Day-Day. And that's weird. Anyway, so there's this kid named Paul who's French village has been invaded by Nazis. There is lots and lots and lots of things that seems to be going on throughout the, his world. His best friend, who was Jewish, got captured by Nazis and sent to concentration camps, even though he did literally nothing wrong. And there doesn't seem to be anything that Paul can do to make be- to make things better. Then Paul finds an American paratrooper in a tree near his home, and the soldiers say, the Allies, I have a plan to crush, crush! The Nazis once and for all, but the soldier needs Paul's help, and this is Paul's chance to make a difference. So soon he finds himself in the middle of the largest invasion in history, and can he do his part in turning this around? I mean, sure, there's something about this castle of the legend, and there's this guy who created a report, a school a report, a police report about a fried body near the castle, which actually made it official, and that scared the people the nazis away from the castle so that kind of did its part on the job and the thing is paul's french village is under nazi rule he's not affected because he's not jewish all the jews are just affected because they're jews and when paul actually does find this american paratrooper in a tree near his home he and helps him and decides to help him there's Something about that paratrooper that seems to be going on and on and on. The soldier actually does need Paul's help, though. And if this is Paul's chance to make a difference, why would you do it during D-Day? Of course, you could blow up the little uh, guns that the little guns that the Germans have, so that they have like the non-machine gun spraying advantage. But if you find yourself in the midst of the largest invasion in history, what can you do? Can you, like, do your part to turn horror into hope? Probably. Probably not. What do you think? Personally, if I was in any of these conflicts, I would basically try to run away from it as fast as possible. I don't care. I mean, try to just survive and survive and survive. If you're... Just try not... Just try to lay low. Try to get something... Good, and also try, and try, and try to be safe, and to keep up hope. Be you, just stay you, even if things seems to be gone. You have to stay being you. You have to be yourself. I've repeated that so many times, I think you guys got the message already. Paul personally just wanted to make his mom happy. Since his dad was sent to concentration camps. And finally, if you learn that allies are going to crush the Nazis for all, and also learning that Hitler's on a vacation in Germany, in a German mountain, relaxing and relaxing while he's thinking that the war's going on his side, and then finally you're thinking that if this goes well, then we'll be able to crush him, that kind of sinks. Thoughts? Hell. That's actually something to really imagine and think of, too. And if this is Paul's chance to make a difference, he needs to be part of a good, great big thing. I mean, this battle would change the course of World War II, sure it would. I already made a few videos about it. And it did a way bigger effect than we all thought it would do. The Allies do have a plan to crush these guys, the Nazis once and for all, but the soldiers do need Paul's help. If I was Paul, I would help the soldier and hide away in the castle forever after making up a story of how you died and all that and then staying with your the, your teacher who was supposedly supposed to be dead and according to Nazis, rose from the dead. From the teacher who supposedly rose from the dead? That's something. That's something. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, and I hope to see you guys in my next episode too, so. Shnan out. Peace. Wow, Day Day was a big day. It makes me feel weird.
बाय ऑनर डोज ऑफ डिटेल